are you feeling? Yeah, I'm feeling good, thank you. I'm feeling good. Um, Heat-wise, not really, but uh, I had uh, had the exhausting match today. Uh, but I, I, I'm really happy to come through because uh, he puts a lot of pressure on me. He was very aggressive from the start of the match, and he was taking the chances that you know have been given to him. It's really important on the second set I made that transition from being defensive to being offensive mm -hmm. and uh, in the end I won it. You've had some trouble with the heat obviously in the past here last year but that was super hot. What, what do you try to do to get yourself ready to come down here? Well Todd Martin who is the new member of our team uh -huh. told me you have to come 10 days before the Grand Slam mm -hmm. and uh, first day I thought you know I'm gonna get over the jet lag sleep a little bit longer. No. 10 a.m. I was on the court <laughs> working like five hours yeah. a day on the court. So yeah, I've been I've been really trying to to work intensive. Ah, oh, you get the chair? Thank you. I was really trying to to work uh, work hard and uh, and get this heat uh, heat problem away. Mm -hmm. So right now physically I, I feel good. Uh, game wise I still need to make some things a little bit better, but uh, I'm confident. We got to look at your draw here quickly. Take on Easton and next had a, a big result for him, but. Uh, Talk about that one. Obviously, the rest you got Sanga in there. You got to be a pretty solid favor to get through there. But what what are your thoughts? Well, I, I try to take every match at a time. You know, uh, I'm well aware of the of the quality of the players that are playing here. You know, it's a Grand Slam. Everybody has a motivation more to do well, and and I, I think I felt it big time in these two matches where lower ranked players really gave me a gave me a hard time. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they step it up, they have nothing to lose, they play on the big courts, and uh, that, that's where it gets really tricky. But, you know, I'm, I'm confident that I can play even better in two days and, uh, and just uh, believe in the best possible result. Novak, how are you going over there? You can hey, hear me hi, okay? Hi, Everything's good? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Novak, I saw you playing in Kuyong. You played uh, an Aussie boy, 17-year-old, Bernard Tomic there. Uh, firstly, what do you think of his game? And secondly, you just looked a little bit, I don't know, I know you're just testing your game and trying a few things. Uh, you look much sharper here, obviously, but the long season last year, do you feel any effects from that with the amount of matches you played? Well, definitely. I, I was saying on the press conference after those matches in Kuyong that the, really the result didn't matter for me that much. I yep. tried to work on things that I've, uh, I've, I've done on the practice with Todd. And, uh, it, you know, it worked well. I, I've done what I needed to do, played some serve and volley and tried to make some variety in my game and make, get my game as far as possible. And, I, uh, yeah, Bernard, uh, Bernard is, is, is a big talent, I think. And he, he put a lot of effort of playing five sets last night. You know, I, I know it was a struggle for him. and. It was a lot of pressure, you know, playing a last night match starting at 10, 10 p.m. Yep. It must have been hard for him, but uh, only 17 years of age and still playing on this level, yep. you know, equally with the, with the guys, you have to give him credit for that. I give you credit, Novak, that you've looked Yeah, for sitting this way, guys. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> time. You get extra credit for that. You can stand up you want. stand up. Yeah, I can stand up. Yes. I get cramps, yeah. you know. Yeah. Yeah. You, yeah. know, you know what I'm interested in? You know, obviously over the years you've, you've used different people to work on different parts of your game. But usually South American players have South American coaches. European players have European coaches. You bring in Todd Martin, an American. An American. That never, like, honestly, God bless. does that ever happen? You know? Very rare, actually. I'm just, uh, I'm just wondering why you made that decision. Because it, it's, you just don't see it much. You see Americans, to my mind, you know, they coach Americans. And a lot of Americans want European coaches to right. teach them clay. Well, I have to give him a big credit for that, for working with a crazy guy like I am. <laughs> and, uh, we're two different personalities. I am really wild and uh, sometimes say things that I don't think I have to say, but he's very calm and he takes time and he, bring, he brings this calmness to, to our team and to myself as well. And, uh, and uh, it, it's all new. It's all, we, we worked uh, prior to US Open a couple of weeks and in London a little bit and, and right here, this is our first trip together. So it takes time, you know, it's, it's a process. It cannot, I cannot feel the results right away of, of our work. Uh, but, but I'm confident, you know, he's a very positive guy. You know, I, I have to say a thing. Whenever we practice, you know, I, I, I like to show my emotions on and off the court, you know. No. It's just like, they, no, no, really. No, really. No. <laughs> like, really? You know, I like to break the records. Yeah, why not? So I, 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 you know, I throw a racket and I said, I cannot hit one serve in or whatever. And he right. says, Yes, but the shot before the serve was really good. Uh, <laughs> so he always tries good to Good positivity. Give, right uh, yeah, so so it, it's great. I mean, he's, he's a fantastic person in the first place, uh, very calm, and uh, he has a lot of experience, played on the professional level for, for lots of time. and Got to the final here. Yeah. Exactly. Played a couple of finals in the grandstand, so uh, he's, he definitely can help me out.